All right, today we're looking at hidden SSIDs for wireless networks and how they're not so hidden. Um, turns out that whenever a client connects to a wireless network that's hidden, it broadcasts the uh, the name of the network for everybody to see. And there, if there's no other security on the wireless network besides uh, having the SSID hidden, you can just sit there and listen until one of the clients broadcasts the uh, name of the network and then anybody can connect. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate that here. We're going to be using Aircrack NG, which is a uh, pretty common tool for this sort of thing. Uh, right here we're going to do Airmon-NG start WLAN 0. Now I've already done that and uh, up here we have a uh, wireless router, it's a WRT120N, it's, uh, its SSID is currently set to Invisibox and uh, the SSID broadcast is set to disabled which basically means that it's hidden, that's the setting for uh, hidden SSID, it's just called uh, SSA, SSID broadcast being enabled or disabled on this router. So now we're watching all of the uh, network traffic around here and you can see it uh, broadcasting right here. This is its uh, MAC address and it's still sending out uh, broadcast. It's just not sending out any SSID. Now what we're going to do is connect to that network with this netbook over here and we're using uh, the Wicked Network Manager's console uh, curses interface but it would be the same with any other client. So we're going to type in the SSID here and attempt to connect to the network and watch over here as there it is it's not even connected it just looked for the network and our uh, listener over here was able to pick that up immediately so if you have a hidden SSID and you think that that's keeping your network secure from your neighbors or whoever it might be for the less technically savvy ones but for somebody who knows what they're doing, you really need something like w WPA2 AES or uh, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching and uh, see you later.